everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Hi, sugar. <laughs> Today we are making Japanese cherry blossom soap and it has a really cool feature. I have actually hand piped all of the embeds out of cold process soap. I'll explain a little more in the video about why I chose Japanese cherry blossom for birthday month. Oh man, y'all guys have no idea how long it took to get my eyeliner to look like just sisters instead of complete strangers. <laughs> for those asking for more Lily updates and Lily in videos, <laughs> she really wants my headband. Here she is. Say I've cut all my teeth here on the bottom. I cut teeth. Wanna show them your top teeth? <gasps> What's in there? <laughs> Look at all those tumors up there. <laughs> you sure are happy. <laughs> this outfit is so cute. I cannot with it. Do you see yourself up there? <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. We are going to begin by mixing our lye water solution into our oils. And now I am going to blend on low until everything is all mixed up and the oils and the lye water are binding together. It's time to color the soap. So I'm gonna pour off two accent colors. We have a nice pink here and a black in this one. The black I am coloring with Nocturnal Mica from Nurture Soap. And the pink I am coloring with Cosmic Carolyn from TKB Trading. And then what is left in my big bucket right here is going to be colored with titanium dioxide. Now let's blend them all up. Now I'm gonna pour a little bit of the white into the pink here, just to kind of take it from this extremely potent sort of hot pink to more of a pastel. And now it's time to add the fragrance oil. So I'm gonna be using Japanese Cherry Blossom from Nature's Garden today. It's been a really long time since I used this fragrance oil, like probably years. But I do remember that blending in the fragrance oil by hand for this one is a good idea. Let's do some mixing. So the first thing I'm gonna mix in is the black, and I'm gonna pour it all in there, go in a circle. I am gonna scrape out my containers. And now for the pink. The pink I'm gonna pour right into the middle, no swirling, just right there. And now it is time to pour into our molds. I'm going to have to be very careful not to spill because this soap is super runny. There we go. Right into the molds here. I'm gonna pour about this much in. Then I'm gonna switch to the other mold. Okay, come over here. Oh wow, that looks awesome. Keeping the lines really defined. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here to this one, start filling again. There's some pink coming in again on the top. Gonna shake these a little bit and make sure it's even throughout the entire mold. Gonna scrapey, scrapey out my containy. I shake these down one last time just to make sure they're all nice and swirly and straight. And now I'm gonna let these sit while I mix up my soap frosting. I am using the Royalty Soaps piping set today with the large round tip, and then my frosting color is a jade green. It actually took a little while to figure out how on earth to actually make that color because it's not really blue, but it's not really like your classic green either, so I ended up mixing a few different things together. Now I'm using the round tip today because the embeds that I'm putting on top are very detailed, and so I don't want the piping to really take away from them. And my piping is a little bit runnier than usual just because I do have so many embeds I have to stick on the top. So I wanna make sure that the frosting is still like loose enough to be able to tack them on there. 
I was looking up some facts about jade in regards to Japan, and apparently in 2016, jade was actually named um, the National Stone of Japan. I thought that was super cool. So why did I pick Japanese cherry blossom to do in my birthday month? Well, I will tell you guys why. When I was a kid, about 12 to 13, I thought that Japanese Cherry Blossom was the best Bath & Body Works fragrance that they had because it smelled the most grown up and adult. <laughs> and it was my favorite scent for years, like for years of my life, probably like four or five, Japanese Cherry Blossom was just, oh, it was so great. And anytime I went over to a friend's house and maybe their mom had like a special guest soap or something, if it was Japanese Cherry Blossom, I just freaked out inside and washed my hands like five times. <laughs> But not only do I love the fragrance, I actually really love cherry blossoms, like in real life. I think cherry blossoms are so beautiful. And I love the variety of colors. I love how some of them are a little more white and some of them are more pink. And oh, I just think it's amazing. And I also like there's a lot of blooms on the tree. Like some trees have really pretty blooms, but they're kind of scarce and few and far between. But when the cherry blossom trees are in bloom, it's like amazing. I think I might have only seen one in real life. It's definitely on my bucket list of things to see. I love traveling. I mean, love it. I love everything about it. I like going to the airport. I even like going through security at the airport. Like I like everything. I like the flying. I like the planning. I like, you know, getting in an Uber or a taxi to the destination. When Caleb and I were in Hawaii, we rode public transportation for one of the islands and I loved that. Like I love everything about traveling. So Japan is definitely on my bucket list because of all the natural, sort of beautiful things there and also kind of keen to try all the food. <laughs> of course, my number one favorite place that I would like to travel would be Ireland. I've wanted to do that ever since I was 10. So hopefully one day I can make the very expensive trip <laughs> over the ocean to Ireland and to England. Uh, I would love to go to Greece. I'd love to go to Italy. I would love to go to Cancun. I'd love to go to Bali. I have a long list of like a bucket list destinations to go. And what I would really love to do is that one day, maybe not too far in the future, we do a soap series where I travel to a destination. I find a fellow like soap shop there and check out their stuff. And then when I come back home, I make a soap inspired by the location that I just traveled to. And then have it all be in like one big video together. The trip being one half and then the soap that I create inspired by the destination be the other half. I think that would be the most amazing thing. And there's so many things that travel vloggers never end up telling me that I wanna know that I would definitely share. Like they never share the names of the hotels or the Airbnbs that they stay. Like they find these amazing Airbnbs, but then nobody ever says like where they are or leaves anyone a link so that they can stay there. I don't know, if I did some travel vlogs, that's the type of stuff I would tell you guys. Cause I watch travel vlogs and wonder the whole time, how feasible is this for me to do? Is this something that I could save up for? Like, what would my budget have to be? That's always the type of stuff I think. And I love, of course, seeing all their pretty footage and stuff, but I wanna know if I can do it too. <laughs> okay, so now that all the piping is on top, I'm going to put on the embeds. Now these embeds, unlike almost all the embeds that I make, are actually cold process soap. I bought a special tip that is designed exclusively for cherry blossoms. Then I made a set of piping and I smeared it all out on saran wrap and then I put a little bit of pink down the middle because I thought maybe I might like the pink to be on the side. It was kind of a disaster. I didn't put it down the right way for the saran wrap so it kind of plippity plopped out of my piping bag. But once I got everything in the piping bag, I piped all of these on a piece of freezer paper. I piped a thousand cherry blossoms. And then I went in with a little bit of 
of Cosmic Carolyn mixed with rubbing alcohol and individually painted every single cherry blossom center. And here they are, all ready to go now for the cold process soap. So I'm gonna start placing them in here on the sides. I would love to do more cold process soap embeds. It's just so incredibly time consuming. But for flowers, you really can't even come close with melt and pour. Melt and pour just does not do flowers justice. And like real cherry blossoms, every single one will be a little different. It is going to take me absolutely ages to put all of these on. So I will be back when all the embeds are on and I'll bring you guys in for a close up. And this is what the Japanese cherry blossom soap looks like up close. I added a teeny tiny bit of glitter on top. Man, I am living for this. We will be back to unmold it in 18 to 24 hours after this quick commercial break. We are back the next day to cut the Japanese cherry blossom soap. So as you can probably tell, we're in a new place. I'm actually in my bathroom, so I apologize for the echo and the loud banging from the construction people going on in the backyard, but we work with what we've got. So the jade green has definitely turned more of an aqua sort of sea green color but it still accents the soap really well, so I don't actually care. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that swirl. Essentially, if you remember, I took a big white circle and then I poured in a swirly spiral, the black, and then I just poured the pink straight in. And some of these are gonna get cut. The flowers are not exactly one inch thick. They're a little bit bigger, so I knew that was going to happen. It's no big deal and any little scrappy bits that are coming off. We will just clean up when it's time to bevel all of these. I wanna show you guys how smooth and marbled the sides are. It's so gorgeous. Here's the end piece right here that has a little more pink and that pink has turned such a gorgeous color. I have a functional question of the day today. I would like to know if it's more important to you guys to have a larger bar of soap or a pretty bar of soap. Do you care essentially about the weight and the size more or the looks more? I'm thinking about making some low top, tall and skinny soaps, but they won't be as big as my regular low top. So I wanna know how important that is to you guys because y'all's opinion is what matters the most. So you can vote on the question of the day by clicking the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave me a comment down below. Oh, we're so excited. Tomorrow is the last day of birthday week, so be sure to tune in. And until then, have an absolutely royal day. Do something fun for yourself today. And we'll see you tomorrow. So until then, bye for now. Ah!